everybody. This is Curtis with Off the Bench Global. And of course, we have a, um, a beautiful guest. Hello. Yes, we have Sherry with us back into, uh, we really want to talk about again, uh, we have a lot of things going on with the school system. And also we have on the line, uh, we we actually, we, we do, remember we was telling you guys about virtual learning. We've uh, been doing virtual learning um, uh, since maybe the end of, uh, well, the beginning of March, you know, we've been doing um, great when it comes to virtual learning uh, framework for the future. Um, we're excited because we have our student teachers online and um, you guys really focus on the importance of uh uh, the kids at this time and and uh, moving forward when it comes to uh, kid interaction and uh, Q&A all these things are important and um, I'm excited about uh, having the kids on online right now uh, framework for the future you know again we was on WSOC TV channel 9 we are excited about the kids and uh, kids I know that you guys are here online I, I would definitely love for you guys to uh, introduce yourself to the people First, we have uh, we have Rom, uh, fourth grade teacher. Uh, how you doing, Rom? Yeah, hey, um, I'm Rom. A little tidbit about me: I love to write and I love to help out, which I'm putting into this program. Yes. And I, yeah, as Curtis said, I'm the fourth grade teacher. That's awesome. And then we have uh, Nadini. Hi, I'm Nandini. Thank you for having us here. Um, I am currently a 10th grader at Weddington High School, and I love to help around the community, and I teach 5th grade in this program. That is awesome. And then we have uh, Radhi. Hi, I'm Radhika, and um, currently I'm an 8th grader. Uh, thank you so much for having us here. Uh, I love math and I love helping other people. And in this program, I teach sixth grade math. Yes, and you guys are doing an awesome job. And um, also we have Maga. Hi, I'm Maga. I go, I'm currently a seventh grader at Metro Line at Regional College Academy. And I love to read and I am teaching third grade in this program. And you are awesome. We have Prisha. Hi, I'm Prisha. I'm currently an eighth grader going to Bailey, and I love to help out the community. And um, I'm teaching fifth grade. And you're awesome. We have Parvita. Um, hi, I'm Parvati. I'm currently a seventh grader, and I love helping people. And I'm currently one of the teachers of third grade. Yes, and uh, we, we appreciate uh, the roll call. Um, I, I'm, I'm telling you, you guys are so awesome, and you guys hear me tell you this all the time. And I love it because um, we are global, and um, we we want to be able to push, you know, the, the, the academics, you know, at this time. It's very important. And, um, again, we, we are at a great price, you know. Free is a great price. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a great price. <laughs> Price. And um, so and we, we want to actually go back and um, speak to Rom. Rom, give us give us a little synopsis as far as uh, the program. What it what what type of impact um, is it making with you? Well, what do you have to say, Rom? It's definitely given me a deeper insight, a deeper appreciation for our teachers. Mm -hmm. They put a lot of work into creating the curriculum that they do. So it's definitely given me a deeper understanding of what they do. Right. Personally, I feel really grateful for being able to have the opportunity to do something like this, along with Parvati Mega, Christian, and then Erotica. Right, so right. I'm just, yeah, we're all really excited to put back and give back to the community. That is awesome. And, and Rom, give us an um, idea how this came about. Yeah, so... Um, it's just something I've been passionate about for a while now. Mm -hmm. Last summer during the tennis camp that Framework for Future did, I brought this idea up to the Vedre, an executive board member of Framework for Future. Mm -hmm. and we thought that this sort of situation, the whole COVID situation was the time to start. Right. But we felt like that the school system, some schools weren't even having video face-to-face -face calls. It was just providing 
material. So we felt that that wasn't enough. So right. we created our unique curriculum and teaching method to fill the gaps that the school system was sort of. Right. And Ron, to your point, that's that's a great point, Um, because a lot of times that uh, especially with this COVID, a lot of the children interaction is not happening. So they're losing their social skills when it comes to interaction, you know. And so I think that uh, the Q&A with uh, Framework for the Future is a a positive move uh, when it comes to actually impacting the community, you know. And um, yeah, I can, uh, yeah, yeah, and so and uh, we have uh, N- N- Nadini is going to talk about uh, framework for the future. Yeah, um, first of all, thank you for having us here. Um, uh huh. So, framework for the future is a five hundred one c three nonprofit leadership organization mm-hmm. for young people that's focused on creating next generation leaders. Right. Um, we connect with high school students, with civic, business, and community leaders. FRF powers of youth, and it's willing to do many events in which the students are wanting to do and students actually lead. Mm-hmm. So FRF has led many community events like golf and tennis event. And so today we're actually doing a virtual tutoring program to teach kids math and to sharpen up their skills during quarantine and for the next school year. Right, 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 right. And um, again, I can't say enough that you guys are doing an awesome job. And um, and uh, Roddy, actually, um, teaching process and feedback that you're actually getting. This is so important. This this part, this process, as far as the the feedback, um, is, is is essential because we want to make sure that we're actually moving forward and being um, being intentional. You know, yes. Yes. so um, Roddy, please let us know about the teaching process and feedback. Yeah, so um, we use Google Classroom as like a primary platform to sign mm-hmm. assignments, homework, and to allow for like students to freely communicate. Due to COVID-19 outbreaks, like students are unsure of how the new school year will be and they're unfamiliar with the different technologies and the methods used for online teaching. Right. That's why our program gives students the ability to mm-hmm. communicate with their peers learn how to be comfortable with the virtual learning. Mm-hmm. Classes are flexible and they're usually once a week. Right. And we have a pre-assessment which is created based on the NT Common Core curriculum and it's located in the Google Classroom. Mm-hmm. And it allows us like to identify the strengths and the weaknesses of each student. Mm-hmm. We structure our classes based on the students' needs. And each week we'll go in depth in like a few different topics. In case a student did not understand the lesson in the class, both the PowerPoint that we went through and some extra questions mm-hmm. will be provided so that the students can like go over them like when they want to or at their own leisure. Right. And right. make things fun. Games are also incorporated into the lesson mm-hmm. so that the students are more engaged. Right. Right. And because of COVID nineteen, parents aren't really familiar on how to manage their child's education and the new methods of teaching. It's all really new and vague. Right. And our program helps engage students and educate them when they need it the most, allowing for parents to be prepared for the new school year. Because of this, um, our program has gotten actually a lot of positive feedback. Right. Feedback is like really important for us mm-hmm. because um, because we want to keep adapting to the students' needs. So we ask the students to keep sending a lot of feedback. Right. And one piece of feedback that we got that actually meant like a lot to me was when a very nice when I got a very nice letter for from a grateful parent and it's those little things that motivate us to keep going and keep doing this program yeah that's yeah. awesome yeah it's awesome that's right awesome. yes mm-hmm. so and also um, we have mega really talk about the marketing well, yeah so we spread the word about our program by putting our flyer out on many different social media platforms. Our flyer talks about like the gist of our program and also has the email where you can contact us. Mm-hmm. Um, Framework for Future also partnered with the International Minority Coalition, which helped us reach out to many minority communities. This way we can really help the most people possible and kids can keep on learning during these harder times. Right. So that when they go back to school, they're like crisp on topics. 
are on their skills and so that and teachers don't have to go back and review stuff and they can dive right into the new curriculum. That's good. This yeah, partnering really mm -hmm. gave us lots of traction. Mm -hmm. our, program, our program was also listed as one of the city's housing and neighborhood resources. This was really helpful because it also gave a big boost to our program and more people got to know about it because it was one of the city's housing resources, housing and neighborhood resources. Yes. Yes. And see, and that's 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 what makes it essential, you know, and um, Preacher, really uh, come in and talk about the uh, signing up process or no, 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 no. Let's do this. Preacher, talk about the. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the uh, uh, let's talk about the uniqueness of the program. Can we do that? Yeah. Um, so first of all, it's a youth-led organization, mm -hmm. so the kids have more understanding with the teacher, more interaction. Right. And another unique thing about the program is it's like really like customizable. We teach based on the students and the students' needs, like the students send feedback, right. and we adapt to the students' needs, so the student gets um, the most out of the program. Yes, and and that's. I told you this is this is what I'm excited. You know, this is what makes um, uh, what we do uh, essential. This is what um, yeah. this is what makes um, a great a great uh, communication when it comes to kids and parents and parents not being scared in the household That's as great. far as them learning. You know, so and and uh, Parvatha, tell talk, tell them how they can sign up and uh, the process actually uh, uh, and the future. Yeah. Okay. So we have a super easy signing up process. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in our program, all you have to do is send an email to virtualmathlearning at gmail dot com mm -hmm. and tell us who you are and which grade you're in. And once we receive your email, we'll provide you with additional details like our Google Classroom code for your said grade. And once you reach Google Classroom, you'll see a pre-assessment. And just take that pre-assessment so we get an idea of where you're at, and you'll be good to go. And then once we review your pre-assessment so we can see where you're at and what help you need, we'll set up classes weekly. Yes. And concerning our future, we hope every child who's in need of help gains it from our program. And we need your help reaching out to these children. As we continue to expand, we'll plan on teaching more and more students in grade levels. Because right now we're focusing on the grades three through six, as that's a really crucial time in your education. And our end goal is for more and more children to gain knowledge throughout our program and get the help that they need. Yes, yes. That's great. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And let me let me tell you how um, I got in trouble. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I got in trouble because um, I was going to uh, have a break with the kids, you know, and they emailed me and said, no, we want to keep going. You know, that's mm -hmm. how that's how important it is when, you know, you have kids that want to help kids, you know, in the community. And and that's why, you know, um, I love these kids. You know, they are they are uh, consistent. You yes. know, and focus. That's good. You know, that's really good. And we had a Zoom call last night, and um, I didn't turn my Zoom off. They actually practiced what they wanted to make sure that the information they gave off was, you know, really important, really essential, re really detailed. Um, the kids are great. That is, yeah, they are. They're awesome. They are I, great. I like um, what they're saying and um, them making. Um, a unique situation better right that's right because we're in unique times so that is really great and I love what these kids are doing yes yes so and um, in, in in closing I want uh, starting with Rom I want you to actually give uh, really quick give um, your your grade um, anything that you want to say as far as we closing out um, closing out this show and uh, we want everyone to uh, take the information that is given to actually log in and sign your kids up and um, I promise you I promise you you'll see the difference Rom let's start with you let's close out the show um, talking about um, anything that you want to talk about this is your show Oh yeah, and again, I'm, we're just really excited for where this program can go. We encourage everyone listening, if they have a kid, 
which we we're currently we only have classes for three uh, grades three through six but we're looking to expand to all of elementary school mm-hmm. we really really encourage you to sign your kids up we promise you won't regret it it's free so why not yes yeah, yes yeah you just email virtual math learning at gmail.com no underscores just virtual math learning at gmail.com and we'll definitely get you signed up I can't emphasize this enough. We're really excited to help out and give back to the community because the community's given a lot to us. Yes. So, uh, with that being said, you know, we're going to make sure that uh, all the information's out and we are uh, helping in the community. Uh, my time is up for the show for today. We are off the bench global. You guys stay tuned for more. <laughs>